Now that we have our, our two cymbal stands packed away, we have our snare drum stand packed away, let's go ahead and deal with um, the rack tom stand here. Uh, and, and then the only thing we have left is the kick drum, kick drum pedal, hi-hat, and seat. So what we do here is, once again, close the arms that actually hold the drum. I know this is a gross looking stand. I actually got this stand um, when I started uh, band in the fifth grade. I still have it. So fold the arms up. I, once again, do not like tightness. I just make sure it's not going to like fall out, but I don't tighten it because I'll just have to do it tomorrow. And then in this case, as you can see, I could lower this down. Okay, but I don't want to do that because it was at its correct height and it's only saving me about an inch. Um, but to put the drum on it tomorrow and have to readjust that is way harder to deal with than the inch I'm saving. So that's why I was saying with the snare drum stand, I leave this, I just leave the height because that's what it's going to always be. And then go ahead and loosen the legs. Okay, and then tighten. And if you take a look, that's pretty small. And like I said, I mean, you're going to save an inch there. I really don't need it in this stand. It's going to fit either way. So it's not that big of a deal. So once you get that, now it's time to like put it in here. And what I like to do is I kind of find like a little crevice like here or maybe over here where this will fit like really nice. Um, you don't want to do that because that's, that's getting ready to be broken off if something gets in there to different way so maybe what we'll do we'll just slide it in there it's fitting into that crevice really nicely so um, we're almost there let's finish packing up so we can get out of here